booster ignition and liftoff. Exploring space. For retired astronaut Ken Bauer socks, there's nothing like it. Well, it's kind of a, a dreamlike experience um, to be able to float around while you're working. Bauer socks completed five missions, including one to the International Space Station, but a weightless environment can take its toll. On every one of my flights, I've noticed that additional pressure in my head. NASA scientists believe the loss of gravity is putting pressure on the brain, causing vision changes in astronauts that could jeopardize future long-term missions. There's a number of changes in the microgravity environment. That's why Dr. Eric Burchard has developed a new non-invasive way to measure brain health without the use of a spinal tap or hole in the skull. This could potentially benefit not only the astronauts, but also millions of people on Earth. Using ultrasound, the device measures blood flow through the eye artery. The white color represents the strongest signal. Another device developed by Dr. Chathan Rao called Cerebrotech uses low energy radio waves to measure brain volume changes. The blood, the fluid, and the brain. Both devices could be used as an early detection for brain injuries in space or here at home. I'm Marty Salt reporting.